with ShowMeTheCurry.com. I'm Hithal. I'm Anuja. And today we're making Indu's famous cracked meat pie so. That's right. Now this is the perfect recipe for festivals, which are, I'm sure, coming up every, <laughs> every week there's almost a festival. And it's great if you're having a party or a get-together or any special occasion. Perfect dessert. So here's what you'll need. Half cup cracked wheat, two cups water, one cup milk, 13 ounce can of coconut milk, half cup jaggery or to taste, one tablespoon clarified butter or ghee, two tablespoons shredded coconut, one tablespoon broken cashew, one tablespoon golden raisins, quarter teaspoon cardamom powder or to taste. So for this fantastic paisam recipe, it's or you can call it kheer, and uh, what we have is a pressure cooker over here, pressure pan, and we're going to add in cracked wheat and the water. Just give it a mix, close it up, turn it on high, and we're going to let it uh, whistle one time and then turn it off and then let the pressure go down by itself. Now we use the fine type of uh, cracked wheat, but if you're using the one that is a little coarser, then you may have to let it whistle an additional one or two more times, mm -hmm. so about three whistles, and then switch it off. So the cracked wheat's cooked in the pressure cooker. Just gonna make sure there's no pressure left, and you're gonna open it. Perfect. So the cracked wheat looks fantastic. The water has all you know, been absorbed. So what you're going to do is now add in the jaggery and we're going to mix it and because of the heat the jaggery is going to melt. Now we have added only half a cup of uh, jaggery so it's entirely up to you how much more sweeter you would like it and we're going to turn the stove back on, on low. So in case you can't find jaggery or if you don't have any on hand and you want to make this, um, you can use uh, brown sugar and it, it closely resembles the flavor. It's not exact, jaggery has this wonderful, unique flavor on its own, but uh, I think brown sugar will come pretty close to that. Right. And if you don't have access to that, I'm sure sugar will also. Yeah. Dessert is dessert, right? Exactly. Yeah. As long as it's sweet. As long as you can eat it. Alright, uh, the jaggery looks melted. We're going to go ahead and add in milk. Mix it and let it come to a boil. I've increased the heat to medium now. So our cracked wheat, or dalia sometimes it's called, uh, has been cooking and it's somewhat thickened up. So we can go ahead and add in our coconut milk. Mm -hmm. And we're going to allow it to come to another boil. So this has been cooking for about uh, five to seven minutes and uh, it looks fantastic. I think we're going to stop here, turn it off. And we're going to just pull it off to the side. So for the seasoning, we have a small skillet over here. We're going to put it on. So on medium heat, we're going to go ahead and just roast the shredded coconut. Now a lot of people like uh, chunks of uh, coconut. It actually tastes very good. It does taste very good. So if you have access to that, just you know, little slices or little slivers of coconut tastes excellent. And actually, if you're using those, then you need to, uh, you can skip the step and you can put it directly in the key. And once you start to get a nice aroma of the coconut, we can just go ahead and put it in our bison. Mm, it smells so good. And in the same skillet, we'll add um, the key. Allow it to heat up. And the ghee is hot, so we're going to go ahead and add the cashews. And give your cashews about a 30 second head start, and we can add in the raisins. Keep stirring, otherwise the raisins tend to burn. You want the cashews to have a little color. And you'll notice the raisins also plump up. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. The raisins are nice and plump, so we can go ahead and add this to the bison. And you just mix it and it's ready to serve. Now the longer it sits, it's going to get thicker and thicker and thicker. So depending on how thick you want it, uh, you may want to switch off the stove a little earlier and you know, uh, right. just expect it to get thicker. <laughs> yeah, or you can add in more milk or coconut milk. 
and uh, it looks fabulous. And you can uh, have this warm or cold, so your choice and your preference. But uh, thank you so much, Indu, for this yummy, yummy recipe. We always remember you for this. All right, and join us again on another episode of ShowMeTheCurry.com. Adding a pinch of spice to your life.